As the newly anointed leader of the Communist Party of China, Mao Zedong bases himself at Yan'an. It's a bombed out mountain town wrecked by the Civil War. His intention is to turn the Yan'an communist faithful into a force that is utterly obedient to him and that will take him to power. He actually saw Japanese invasion and the war as an opportunity to destroy Chiang Kai-shek's state, to enable him to seize power after the war was over. To do this, he takes the lessons in violence and manipulation he learns as a younger man and enhances them into a signature toolkit of terror. First, he eradicates the principle of an egalitarian utopia and sets up a hierarchy with him at the top. In Yan'an, there was absolutely no equality. One group takes their complaints to a man they nominate as their representative, Wang Shiwei, a writer. Wang Shiwei was their hero. He spoke their disillusionment with communism. Wang publicizes his followers' grievances, posting their criticisms for all to see. Mao went to see Wang Shiwei's posters and saw how crowds of people regarded Wang Shiwei as their hero. With Wang exposed, Mao swoops into action and puts into practice his conviction that through violence comes power. Mao subjects Wang Shiwei to a uniquely excruciating method of knee-breaking, the so-called tiger bench. Of all the instruments of torture available, it's Mao's personal favorite. Using torture, Mao can get Wang Shiwei to say anything. He makes a false confession that he is a nationalist spy. What's more, he's forced to implicate innocent comrades, though nothing he says will prevent his execution. Because Mao is determined to send a message. If you don't think the way Mao wants you to think, you will die. <laughs> 